So in this video, I want to go through an example of filling in the blanks, effectively, uh, of finding all the missing angles and the missing side of this triangle. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just label the sides. So I'll call that lowercase a because it's opposite, opposite capital A, lowercase c, lowercase b. What I want to do with this example is um, really kind of show you some of the pitfalls. Okay, uh, one pitfall in particular, really. So first things first, I've got two sides and the interior angle. OK, so I can't use the sine rule because I don't have a pair, but I can use the cosine rule to work out side A. That seems fine. OK, so I'll do that. So the cosine rule, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared, take 2BC cosine A. So A squared is equal to 105 squared plus 131 squared, take away two lots of 105 times 131, uh, cosine of 26 degrees. OK, so let's plug that into the calculator. 105 squared plus 131 squared, take away two lots of 105 times 131 times cosine of 26. So that's 3,460.175786. And then I want to square root that. And so we get 58.8232588889. So 58.8 uh, meters to three sig fig. OK, so I'll pop that on my diagram. 58.8 meters to three sig fig. OK, so I've got that. Great. Now, um, Next thing is we would either be looking for angle B or angle C. Now, for what I should point out is that I haven't drawn this diagram accurately. OK, so we can't necessarily trust the diagram. OK, however, I have drawn it in such a way that it seems to be appropriate. OK, it seems to be reasonably all right. 105 is less than 131, 26 degrees looks about right. So although I haven't drawn it accurately, it does seem to be appropriate. OK, so I'm going to purposefully fall into um, a trap. So let's say we wanted to work out angle C first. We went for angle C. Perfectly legitimate choice. Um, and in choosing angle C, uh, I would, I could use the sine rule. Okay, so let's say I chose to find angle C using the sine rule. I've got a pair now, so that means I can use the sine rule. So everything seems perfectly fine. Sine of the angle C over 131 will be equal to sine of the angle 26 over the 58.8. So, oh, sorry, 58.823, etc. OK, so sine of the angle C. So sine of 26 divided by that 58.823 and then times that by 131 gets me 0 0.97625. So C is the inverse sine of that. And that gets me 77.4896871.4. So 77.5 degrees to 3 sig fig. OK. So I'd be saying that that's 77.5. And so I could do 180, take away that angle, take away the 26, gets me 76.5 to three sig fig for that angle there. Now, my diagram, um, as I said, wasn't drawn accurately, but things don't look quite right. The problem is that in the way that I've drawn this diagram, this appears to be an obtuse angle. So the 77.5 doesn't really seem to fit. Um, that's not to say that it's wrong, 
but let's see there may be a discrepancy here so what I'm instead going to do is I'm going to use the cosine rule to work out angle C instead so instead of using the sine rule I'm going to use the cosine rule and see if I get to the same value the same number okay now the cosine rule to find an angle. I always kind of get, get this bit mixed up. It should be all right. So let's go with it. Um, cosine of the angle C. So I've got to rearrange the uh, cosine rule in my head. Um, is going to be, was that? A squared plus the B squared. So uh, let's write that down. A squared plus the B squared minus the C squared over 2AB. Okay. So... A squared is going to be the 58.8, etc. squared, plus the B squared, so 105 squared. Take away the 131 squared, divided by 2 times the 58.8 times the 105. Okay, so let's try that out. 58.8232588 squared, plus 105 squared, Take away 131 squared. So I've got minus 2,675. Divide that by 2 times 58.8232588989 times by 105. And we get minus 0.2166. 153373. So when I inverse cosine that, I get 102. 0.5103129 so 102.5 degrees to one decimal place ah they're different um, now do you also notice that they add up to 180 degrees okay what's the problem here now, the 102.5 certainly fits better with my diagram, OK? Um, now, the cosine rule, because the cosine rule is using all three sides, there is no other way to draw the triangle with those three sides. It's kind of fixed. All the angles inside are fixed. The problem is that when I use the sine rule, when I was using the information of the 131, the 26, and the 58.8, okay, so the information that I know to be true, okay, so I'll draw that inside in, because I don't know the length that side, because I'm not using the 105, I'm not using the length of B. I am using the length of 131. I know that that's 26 degrees, because I'm using those two bits of information. And I'm using the 58.8, okay? So the 58.8, I know to be true. But the problem is that I don't know that angle. I'm, well, I'm not using that angle in my calculation. So it would only be assuming it to be that way. Um, it could be that it's the same length, right? But it could be that the angle is that instead. So maybe it's that, maybe it's that. And the sine rule has given me this one rather than that one. OK? Now, the reason why is that the sine rule, because of the shape of the curve, um, will naturally give you um, an acute angle, okay, first. However, there is a potential of it being an obtuse angle as well. So because you don't know what that angle is, that 58.8 could be going there, or it could be going there, because you don't know the length that side. That, the length that side is not included in your calculation. So the sine rule actually gave us one that was, didn't really fit and was the incorrect angle. So what's the lesson to be learnt here? Uh, the lesson to be learnt is that if you hit this problem, cosine rule, 
is really the one to utilize if you know the length of all three sides. Okay, it's not saying that the sine rule was wrong because if you the sine rule is wrong in general because if we'd actually worked out angle B first, with angle B being acute, the sine rule and the cosine rule both work out correctly for angle B. Okay, uh, because it's acute. The problem is that this angle is obtuse, so go with the cosine rule for obtuse angles. So we've got the 102.5, 102.5, and so I can just do 180, take away that angle, take away the 26, uh, gives me 51.5 for this angle. So you should find that if you've used the sine rule or the cosine rule to work at angle B first, you should get the 51.5, okay? It's just that uh, if you've done the sine rule to work out angle C first, then you would have made an error.